we have one more question from Director De La Salle. Yes. Uh, there's one faculty who uh, asked this, and uh, all three of you uh, adhere to the importance of research, especially for uh, world university ranking. And the faculty is asking about your H index as a scholar. What is your H index? Or your, your value in terms of cumulative uh, research outputs and performance. However, I, rest, I will restate it by asking, what is your most re recent published research? The one that you wrote or co-wrote in, in, in what journal and where is this or when is this published? And what do you think is its impact to the academe and or the community? Thank you. This time we would have Dr. Campo to answer first. Okay. I have um, many research. Um, I uh, done uh, this in Malabon and also in international organizations like the, during the pandemic. So I presented uh, a lot of uh, uh, research in international uh, community, in academic uh, community. Uh, one is the advancement of the, uh, during COVID-19 pandemic for the faculty that uh, should be provided by uh, uh, gadgets, like even the students' uh, needs for the uh, technology. Yun ang isa sa mga naipasa ko during the, my term at uh, Paranaque City College. And it was uh, granted by our uh, city mayor. They, they provided the technology and uh, among the faculty and the students. And then there are a lot of uh, presentation like e-commerce at the international organization and uh, the pedagogical uh, 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 research even in the uh, embracing the culture in an, another local uh, research organization. It is on my uh, resume that all this part of my uh, resume, uh, research are all in there, uh, many. Thank you. Candidates, before we proceed, there is a request from the Facebook live stream, if we may kindly use the microphone closer so that they could also uh, hear it better. Thank you. May I proceed now? Okay, uh, so the question is the latest publication. May I get a clarifi clarification? You're talking about local or international? Biro ko lang huyo, no. Just to break the ice, I know that we're all tensed and it's already 12 o'clock and since we're not Spanish, we're going to eat very soon. No, just to be very serious about the issue. Um, I sit in the editorial board of two international journals, the, the Journal of uh, Southeast Asian Studies and the Journal of Maritime and Oceanic Studies. They're both international journals. The latest publication locally, because we love the university, was published at the Universitas, where I wrote a paper on navigating the terrains of academic publication. That's the first, that's the local. I co-wrote it with a colleague, Dean Sonia Pimentel, and the latest publication internationally was written, I think, 2020, it was about measuring capacity for graduate programs in public administration. I'm sure Dr. Paras would be very interested in that. It is a, an, an article that was presented in a conference in Bali, Indonesia. And the name of the journal is Policy and Governance. It is based in the University of... Um, I forgot the name. Mahirap pronounce yung university sa, sa Bali. But it is based on a university in Indonesia and also published by the Professional Organization of Public Administration in Indonesia. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tapia. Professor Ramos. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, just very recently, our 
uh, Center for uh, Integrated Communications actually did a feature about my recent uh, paper presentation in Japan under AI for the International Academic Forum. And my paper was actually uh, selected for publication in the IA4 uh, Journal on Education. This is a Scopus uh, uh, indexed uh, uh, publication. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, VP Ed is also attending a training in Germany very soon. And this is something that I know because I challenge our faculty and our administrators to actually uh, continuously engage in research. And uh, I myself will also be attending a UN Summer Academy in Bonn. This is also, uh, you know, continuous trust in actually uh, engaging in meaningful research. But the more significant research that I am actually engaged in right now is the research being done in EDCOM. Oh. Sabi ko nga po kanina, uh, 20, more than 20 years ago. And the work that we are doing right now cuts across various issues and challenges that is facing education right now. Just yesterday, VPN Ed and I were actually attending an EDCOM meeting and there, were, there was a presentation about defining what academic freedom for academic institutions mean. And being part of the committee on higher education and teacher training and development, one of my roles actually there is to make significant contribution and input on the different issues besieging our education. Thank you, uh, Dr. Ramos. Also, uh, Dr. Campo and Professor Tapia.